<coughs> Your dog is a cough. The supernatural cough syrup works great. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you get to do so, click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Does your dog have a cough sounding something like this? <coughs> you know, you're just trying to clear something from your throat. It's not uncommon. I'm on the plane, I'm trying not to cough. I pop a cough syrup. Hmm. I pop a cough drop. When a person is doing that, in the process of doing that, I crunch mm, that little cough drop. I'm like, oh, I feel like I have something in my throat. I feel like I have to <coughs> cough. Hmm. That's just a minor irritation. You know, really don't need to be using any type of cough syrup to treat that. Although I sure wish I had had some at the time. More of a prominent sound and it keeps, you know, showing up. Does it sound more like this? <coughs> Almost maybe like a little bit of fluidy as if there's something in their throat that they're trying to clear. There is a condition called tracheal collapse. Very common in our small breed dogs. Middle age, what it means is their main airway kind of runs right here. Their trachea carries all that oxygen on the way down to your lungs. It can actually collapse in on itself. We don't actually know all the specific underlying reasons why, but what it shows up is this kind of this regular coughing. And it sounds kind of like, you know, an irritated throat, like a <coughs> Or maybe your dog has not had a cough, then all of a sudden you wake up to this sort of goose honking cough. <coughs> that, that super irritated airway, almost sounds a bit of raspy and fluidy. So they're trying to wreck something up. There is a quite infectious coughing disease of ca dogs called kennel cough or infectious tracheal bronchitis. It can be caused by a bacteria, Bordetella bronchoseptica, as well as some of the canine parrot influenza viruses. So often it's a combination of viral and bacterial. And that's the one that sounds like what I just did. <laughs> No, you don't want to do that. Okay. So your dog's coughing at home and you're like, is there something pretty safe over the counter that I could use? That is natural. Mm -hmm. I'll link to some of the past videos that I've done about dog coughing and some of the holistic options. But this is a great combination natural cough syrup, which includes elderberry, which we have been discussing at length for its infectious disease and anti-influenza and other viral properties. Two, it includes honey. Yeah, wonderful for coughs natural antibacterial, great to soothe the throat. Three, it includes apple cider vinegar, which also has some antibacterial properties. And four, it includes propolis. This is also known as bee resin. It's the sticky part that bees use to reinforce their beehive. It's had some great antiviral as well as antibacterial and good antioxidants, almost anti-inflammatory properties. These four in combination are great, super great options. If you and or your dog, even your cat has a cough. And guess what? I've been taking this, works wonderful. More than anything, I'm doing it to prevent infectious, infectious respiratory disease. If Tula were to have a cough, this would be the first simple over-the-counter thing that I would use. This is made by Ciro. It is organic elderberry syrup, which includes the elderberry, the honey, the apple cider vinegar, and the propolis. You want to give it a good shake. As far as dose-wise, well, for our dogs, I would suggest a half a teaspoon for 10 pounds of body weight. Tula weighs 20 pounds. She's going to get one teaspoon. 
She intermittently coughs. I think she actually has, uh, in part, a collapsing trachea. And if there's any kind of pressure, um, you, you're using, putting any type of pressure on her collar, she'll start to cough. Because it's sweetened with honey, it's gonna be fairly easy, at least I think, to dose your dog with. So let's just do a little sample test here. Here's your teaspoon. I've shaken it well, Tula. I'm just gonna put a cup in case you don't wanna lick it. But look at that. To Tula. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, who doesn't want organic elderberry? And apple cider vinegar and honey. Throw in a little bit of propolis. So good for you. Kill all those potentially bacteria, those viruses might be causing it. More importantly, a great natural way just to soothe your throat. Okay, Tula. Uh, pretty standard human dose is one to two tablespoons of this syrup twice daily as needed. I've been taking one tablespoon twice a day as a preventive. So here it is. Mm. Here's my tablespoon. Mm. Ah, sweet, super good. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on this new over-the-counter cough remedy. If you've yet to do so, click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.